the hate is real in the battlefield. It is super real. The maestro, the one and only Elon Musk, and the people who hate Elon Musk, retail investors, Kathy Woods, and solving the money problem. Much respects to solving the money problems. Fair use. Like the video. Go check out his channel. Fair use. But again, here we go. Let's listen to her. You wouldn't talk in Tesla on the iced coffee hour. Don't mind if I do. You can see the merit in it. You know, so just to give you a sense on yeah. on, on on Tesla, how much how much hatred <laughs> spewed yeah. out 2018, 2019 production hell it's going bankrupt you're idiots you know i strongly relate in fact so frustrated was i at all the bs the fud the hatred tesla's going bankrupt the fake news relentless endless stories planted in the media by short sellers so frustrated by the private conversations i was having with people i got so pissed off during sabbatical that i started this youtube channel to go listen motherfuckers bam 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 i'm not kidding by the way it was the frustration around the false narrative regarding Tesla versus what I saw as the reality that inspired me to start this YouTube channel. If you haven't been following Tesla for that long, you probably won't be aware, but bro, it was relentless, endless fun. And anyone who would say anything positive about Tesla got attacked viciously. And <laughs> Guys, I received that now, today, in 2024, after they've done amazing amounts of things like build factories across America, build factories in China, been the best-selling car in the world. And I could only imagine that long ago how big the hatred was. You know, I invested in Tesla in 2018. So let's just say even in 2009, right? 2010. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going back to, <laughs> let's just say 2012, 2013. I know it was pretty crazy back then. Like, could you imagine? And then Tesla was around for a long time, guys. But again, I could only imagine the hatred that people had back then. Yeah, 2010, 2013, 2015, the hatred and people thinking people are crazy to even consider this company. And it, it, it made more sense, right? Like maybe he didn't execute that many, let's say, business plans. He was still very successful, but people would argue, you know, you just did software. But now this is hardware meaning that this is the actual physical product when you're dealing with Tesla. So you can't do it. It's impossible. You did PayPal. That's cute. That's, that's cute and all, but that's different. And so I get it. But now today still. And just to remind everybody, this roughly is where the YouTube channel started. Tesla, $23 a share, give or take, split adjusted. It's easy in hindsight. Oh yeah, Tesla was a great company. They had a big lead. Obviously they were going to do well. But at the time, the narrative during this five-year period, especially approaching 2018, 2019, just a quick reminder, by the way, when Tesla stock crashed 50% from mid-June to mid-May from 2017 to 2019, roughly a two-year period, the stock was down 50%. Does sound familiar? Because of the narrative. And people were extremely, extremely emotionally against Tesla. It wasn't just, oh, that's a bad investment. No, no. The insults, the you're a moron, you know what we're talking Unbelievable, obviously, though. Well, we know how this one played out, don't we? And a lot of that was for clickbait, and, and we just didn't pay attention to it. Uh, it was all of it's for clickbait. I think, like, majority of the titles, when it comes down to Tesla, it's just, like, for clickbait like they know if they put in tesla it's gonna get clicks and that's just what it is so tesla basically has to be the punching bag for other people's bottom line which is completely fine that's what it is do it because we knew those people weren't doing the work uh the people who are doing the work they want to engage with us to understand why we think what we're thinking and like how did you even if they understand rights law there's something that's not connecting uh those are the people facts on the city kathy put it on the wood like those people who really want to know are asking really good questions to try to actually inquire and figure out like, what are you getting or how are you arriving at that conclusion? Because I'm not quite seeing it versus people who just pick up a clickbait or some title on the Internet and be like, well, that's a little sign of line and the EV. And then I'm like, dojo, batteries, optimist, mega wall, mega pop power wall, mega pack. They're looking at me like. What? Dry cathodes, lithium refinery processing plant. And they don't know about none of this stuff, <laughs> but they're chatting up a storm about how, who, what, when, where, why, and how it ain't going to work. Elon on Twitter, text message meme here. I'm like, what are you talking about, bruv? The people we really listen to. Do you think that maybe that works to your advantage to be a little bit more controversial in a sense of picking investments that maybe people are 
more emotional about. Like Tesla was a great example of that. Bitcoin has been a Bitcoin great example. Too. Yeah. I mean, Roku's a great example. Coinbase, great example. Jim Chanos, I think he's shutting down because he shorted uh, Coinbase. We are- and Tesla. I mean, bro, it seems like Jim Chanos, or more accurately known as Dim Chanos, is the very definition of a one-hit wonder. Made some money being right once. By the way, nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is the following decade in which the guy made bad bet after bad bet after bad bet. And after getting his financial anus ruined, his ass handed to him, didn't look in the mirror and go, hmm, I fucked that up. Got that one wrong. Maybe I should reassess how I'm looking at opportunities and, and shorts here. No, instead, he just doubles down and triples down and quadruples down and continues, especially on Tesla, to bet against the company, go short, lose insane amounts of money, admit it didn't work out, continue to bet against Tesla, lose even more money. And just, I'm not even kidding. Guy blows up his whole fund. Rip. Jim, by the way, still believes that Tesla is just a car company. You are not contrary. And that's facts. Like, how many times do you see people underperforming? And it's like, how do you still have an opinion after taking all those L's? Well, I, I did, got it right once. Yo, shout outs to you, you know, but you've been wrong about all these other things. So just stick to one thing and then kind of talk about that. Because once you start balancing all these things and starting to get on the news channel and being a correspondent and a contributor, you start talking nonsense. And what you're saying is not accurate to what happened in reality. Like, come on, bro, your track record is pretty bad contrarian just to be contrarian yeah. but because we start from a different point of view the top down it, it's inherently controversial you know we are for example um you mentioned tesla mm. in the early days you know we were making what to many people sounded like a crazy forecast about how quickly electric vehicles would take off the traditional auto manufacturers back in 2016 17 were saying maybe in the 2030s and oh by the way that we have the install base and we'll be there. And uh, Tesla, you're a flea. <laughs> you know, that, that's how they often treat the innovators early on. Um, but we knew that Tesla's DNA was so different. And we all. Facts. Tesla's DNA was so different. And I think a lot of people are not actually calculating that. It's different from any other company. I can't compare it. But I got, I, guys, I could give you an example of this. Like, if we look at it, Gary's comment about Tesla are laughable. And Gary is almost like all other people who analyze companies. I'm mildly mannered and forgiven about these things, but sometimes BS, bad science, is just too great. All right, to illustrate, this is what he allegedly said when Amazon transitioned from just a bookseller. So again, just like Tesla is attempting to transfer to like, let's say AI or robotics or any other thing, like even energy, People are like, what are you doing? You're just a car company. And that's how I'm going to label you. I'm going to look at the P.E. ratio. Now I'm going to compare it to this company, which is Ford and GM. Like the losers. Like, OK, anyways, let me continue. They do the same thing with Tesla. Now watch this. These same people, they probably have this line of thinking that they utilized in the past. So let's go through their history. Now, here's the actual evidence. We're about to bury the guy. Quote, to increase our Amazon position, we need to see, one, a path to stabilizing and ultimately increasing book gross margin. So he's still focusing on books. Number two, evidence that Amazon's book volume growth can return to 25% plus as Amazon launches efforts to sell cheaper books to expand its TAM. And then number three, data that shows that Amazon customers want music, computer games, and other items besides books so that we can add incremental valuation to our Amazon Come on. So they needed way more context. They needed somebody to do little drawings of them and crayons in order to see that people that went to Amazon will probably want more than just actual books. Why do they want music and computers and games and all this other stuff? Why would they want that? Now you're looking back at a tweet like this or a message like that, and you're like, yo, this guy's crazy. And here he goes. And 2024 saying the same nonsense about Tesla. To increase our Tesla position, we need to see, one, a path to stabilizing and ultimately increasing auto gross margins, forgetting it about the gross margins and the increase of the actual energy. But OK, any, anyways, two, evidence that Tesla's volume growth can return to 25 percent plus. Like, Did he fill in the blank with this, right? As Tesla launches the 25 to 30 K vehicle to expand its TAM and three data shows Tesla FSD can get to 99.99% efficiency from 95 to 96% today so that we can add it. Come on, guys. Like, we got we to gotta do it for you. Like, aren't you, the, aren't you the person who's supposed to be doing all the analysis? Aren't you the triple OG? 
Why we got to do that for you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we out here trying to solve the problem and then we got to map it out for you. Get out of here. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. Guys, the hate is real in the battlefield. Don't be one of those and don't be a Gary. No disrespect. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get the next video and be alerted when I'm dropping this heat. I'm starting to think that everybody just loves to hate Tesla. I see you guys on the next episode. Thank you for watching. 